Today I'm going to show you a couple different stretches that I do for my back. Um, I do highly recommend having a yoga mat. You can do it on a rug or carpet, but you will find that your feet will slip and they will not slip on a yoga mat. Um, I don't think it matters what kind you have. I personally have a, a Diam brand. Um, it's just what I purchased. But the first one um, that I'm going to show you, and I'm not a yoga instructor, I'm certainly not in shape, um, and I'm not flexible. My back is fused at both top and bottom. Um, but if I can do this, you can do it too. I'm just going to show you a couple basics. It's not going to take long when you actually do them. Um, there's just five simple ones, and it's really simple. So the first one, um, I believe, is called Warrior's Pose. I'm going to stand with my feet apart as much as comfortable. And then I'm going to turn one foot out while the other one stays forward. I'm going to put my hand down the back of my knee on the one that's forward and reach my arm up over the top so I can feel the stretch going down the side of me. And I'm going to bend my knee into a 90 degree position. And I usually close my eyes and then I focus on the stretch here along my side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to move our foot forward, turn the other one out. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Reach your hand down the back of your knee, arm up and over, bend your one knee forward, feel the stretch down your side. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to stand back up. The next one I do from here, since my feet are already apart, I just lean forward on the ground. Um, again, I can't bend in half, so I'm really far away from my feet, so don't worry about it. As long as you can somehow reach the ground in a comfortable position. My knees won't be completely straight. That's okay. Don't worry about it either. Put your head down, just kind of let your head relax and tip your hips back just a little bit so you can start to feel a stretch in your lower back. But don't go too much, just enough. And then relax and hold it there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then come back up. You can do any of these poses a little bit longer if you want to. This is just what I generally do. Um, the next one I'm going to do, and I'll bring you a little bit closer. Okay, now I'm going to go down on the mat. I'm going to put my knees apart as far as I can. My feet, my toes are together back here. And um, sit however far apart it's comfortable for your knees. I like to have mine far enough apart because I still have a little bit of a belly and it's easier for my belly to go in between my knees this way. And then we're going to put our forehead on the ground and our hands above our head. But I usually put my hands in a triangle just to keep the energy flowing and you don't have open ends here. So let's put our head down on the ground. Mat's a little hard. Um, or the, the mat socket on the ground. So um, put your knees wherever they're comfortable for you. Hands above your head, forehead, let your lower back relax, really focus on that. The more you focus on your lower back, you'll feel your back muscles slowly starting to relax as you breathe. I usually like to stay here a little bit longer, but that's about good. And then we'll get up, not fully up, but the next thing I want you to do, since we're already down on the ground, now we're going to lay on our belly, ah, put your feet together, and um, I usually try to keep my hands shoulder width apart, right on the ground, and that gives me an idea of where I want them. And then we're going to press up. And we're going to squeeze our lower back together. Press your chin up to the sky or the ceiling as much as you can. Again, I'm not real flexible in this, so you can probably do this better than me. But focus on squeezing that lower back. That's really what we want to focus. 
focus on here. We just got done stretching it. Now we're going to feel the stretch in the abdominal muscles going down the front. Squeeze in the back, squeeze in the back. That really helps get rid of uh, any, any swelling back there. We're going to pinch that swelling. And then we're just going to lay flat down very gently. Tip your head to the side, put your arms wherever they're comfortable, and let that lower back relax for a minute. And the whole thing is just to be really gentle with your body, and it will respond amazingly. about it and then when we stand up <sighs> your whole body is going to feel looser your back is going to feel relaxed and it, sometimes you may want to do this whole process over again and that's fine really when you think about it if it's you know 10 seconds in each position including laying down that's 60 seconds so it doesn't take very long you can do this really fast this video is just a little bit longer so I can kind of guide you in what it is that you want to focus on. And just be gentle with it. Be gentle with yourself. And it'll respond. Good luck.